The meeting will return to order. The motion on the floor is to take from the table motion uh, B24, open source software. All those in favor of taking the motion from the table, raise your hands. Hands down. Those opposed? Hands down. The affirmative has it. The motion on the floor is item B24, open source software. And let me get back to it. 20, Thank you. 20, oh, I see. It's on the bottom of the previous page. Do I need to reread it? It is in your agenda. This is to uh, open source software. Okay, the motion on the, the motion's on the floor. The chair recognizes Ms. Secor. We need debate time. Oh, oh, we didn't set the debate time. I'm sorry. It's default is... 10 minutes. No, it, no uh, we didn't. We, that's we the did default. Uh, is there, uh, 10 minutes is the chair's suggestion. Six. Six. Four. Four. That's enough. All right. <laughs> All those in favor of 10 minutes, raise your hands. Hands down. Those opposed? 10 minutes is adopted. The chair recognizes Ms. Secor. Hello, everybody. I'm Kate Secor. Um, this was actually the business I was here to do, not all the rest of this stuff. Um, this motion is here because I think that there is a certain loss of trust among the membership around what's going on with Hugo no voting and Hugo nominations. And I'm hoping that if we say to people, well, look, yeah, we're doing this with software. And we've got some really complicated motions that are going to make hand recounts super hard. We've got some really complicated software. But if you know the software, you can go look at it and see what, see what it's doing. I'm not asking that people be forced to open source their software. I know that there's a lot of opposition to doing that. I am not asking that people be forced to change the software that they're using in any given year. Although I think if you get a legitimate bug report, you should probably think about doing that. All I'm asking is that we, as the business meeting, endorse the idea that the software that's used to perform functions that are required by the Constitution be available for people to review if that's what they want to do. And that if they do find bugs, because all software has bugs, it's axiomatic, it's software, that they be able to report them, whether the, cons whether the seated world cons or committees choose to act on that or not. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Oaks. Uh, Ronald Oakes, speaking in opposition. As the primary author and, or coder of the current website code used for the Hugo nomination process and the main author involved in the voting process, I strongly am opposed to this. All of the software I have written, with the small exception of the stuff that was written for ShyCon 7 originally, has its rights is copyright, but the rights are assigned exclusively to the World Science Fiction Society. That does not preclude reasonable requests to examine the software, but it does preclude it getting out into the open by, by unwarranted sharing of this code. This was done specifically because this code was written for this body, for this purpose, and I did not want to deal with open source, I did not want to go through that. A small portion of the Hugo voting code was based on code originally written by Steve Stanton for, Lon for Lone Star Con 3. That code is GPL, but the remainder of the code, including that that I used to cross-check cross the counts of the Hugo nomination, or the Hugo voting, is available for reasonable requests because it is licensed to this body but it is not open source, and I'm very strongly against what I see as a somewhat strong arm request to force me into dealing with open source licensing. Secondly, as a professional software developer, as long as I'm writing this and assigning it to a body, I believe I am completely safe from any employment issues. However, if it is forced into the open source, that could cause me professional issues in the future if my employer says, hey, you're dealing with this open source software and we don't like, we, we, it, it's in violation of our open source policies. Thank you. Speech in favor? Yes, uh, Mr. Eastlake. I'm Donald Eastlake. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I would like to move an amendment to strike uh, the three, uh, everything but the first paragraph. So it strikes the last three uh, sections of the motion to simplify it. 
Can you? What, I'm sorry. What are you trying to move? I'm trying to move to amend the uh, this motion by right. striking out what? Striking the last three parts. Uh, the so only the, the first part, the first which was resolved through the uh, first half blank line. Okay. Uh, all right. So e everything from that, if a committee makes such information available, to strike yes. everything. Th so to strike the third, uh, second, third, and fourth clauses of the amendment. Correct. I am generally. Okay. Is there a second to striking the second, third, and fourth clauses of the amendment? All right. You get to speak in favor of this. Okay. I'm generally in favor of. Not a more than five minutes divided evenly takes out the main town. I'm generally in favor of a recommendation, not a requirement. In favor of open source, but I think all this stuff about being required to give a contact and bug reports and all this sort of stuff just muddies the issue. I think a statement in favor of open source is fine if we want to do that, but I am opposed to the other parts. A speech opposed to the amendment striking things out. Uh, yes. Can you give me like two seconds. Okay. The 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 time. Go ahead and come on up while the timekeeper straightens out the time clock. And we'll wait for the timekeeper's indication that she's ready to take the next speech. Just a moment. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, go on. Yes, Jack Foy. Uh, the stated purpose of this motion is to build trust between the community and the organizers of this process. Part of that trust is being able to trust the infrastructure that we use in order to execute our business as the Worldcon. Uh, it is an extremely common practice uh, for us to build trust in the software that we use by asking more people to review it and tell us about places where we have done it wrong. That is essential to this process. It is an added bonus that we also get to study the software and, and understand what's going on, but the major reason to do this is for us to be able to identify and rectify problems with how we are doing this. Uh, speech in favor of the amendment to strike the last three clauses, Mr. Kowalczyk. How much time is remaining in favor? Um, 125 seconds, a little over two minutes. I'm still Rick Kowalczyk. Um, I believe that the um, amendment actually does uh, accomplish the openness and allows people to review the code without most of the onerous uh, side effects that Ron Oaks is worried about. And uh, should this amendment uh, pass, we can go try to fix some more of the onerous side effects. That so was a speech against striking the last three? Or that, was, that was four? That, um, yeah, that was a speech for. Yes. I'm, I'm calling for a speech against. It uh, is. Uh, at this point, I think. Substitute for mine, yes. Substitute for his amendment, yes. You want to move to amend by substituting an amendment for Mr. East Lake's amendment? It is in order as an amendment by substitution. It's the only time it's in order. Come along and make the motion. Give me a second. <laughs> and wait for the sec the sec both the secretary and the timekeeper have got to get caught up here. Okay, I'm ready. Ready on the secretary. I should have. Okay, okay, yeah. Yes. What, the um, member will state his amendment. Um, I would propose to amend my substitution that replacing the entirety of Mr. Eek's likes amendment with a change striking out makes in the second paragraph and replacing it with should, which would remove all of the I uh, No, no. The, the chair rules that that's an emotion to try and pit, fiddle with the individual strikeouts. So if you want to get that, you need to defeat the amendment to strike out and, and introduce it as a new motion. Thank you. All right. Yes, yeah, that's a good point. In fact, the chair, I, the parliamentarian, has corrected our original ruling. We were wrong the first time. Uh, is there any? Do we really need to debate this further? Is uh, I'll, I'll take. Okay, I'll take the motion and say, how many people still wish to debate the amendment to strike out the last three clauses? Is there any objection to ending the debate on the de on the amendment to the resolution? Very well. The question is on amending the resolution by striking out the last three clauses. This does not pass or reject the entire proposition. It merely votes on whether we strike out the last three clauses. All those in favor of striking the last three clauses, raise your hands. Hands down. Those opposed? In the opinion of the chair, the affirmative has it. 
The affirmative has it and the last three clauses are struck. The resolution now consists only of the first clause beginning with resolved that the business was, was business meeting and ending with as an open source project. We were, where were we at when we, when we got into this and how much time remains? We, we now have... I was, speech in, I was nominally a speech in favor. Speech in favor. So we were on a speech against the revised proposal. We have, a hun we have 160 seconds in favor, um, 100 and smidge seconds against, which totals up for a total of 271 seconds, 271 which is seconds. Do the math. Uh, I think I'd like to ask, uh, is, uh, a member wants to make an amendment. Mr. Caswell? Yeah. Uh, you've got to go to the microphone. Dennis. Mr. Caswell, sorry. Yeah, I'd like to make an amendment to remove the last six words of the first paragraph to end it at the word request. A motion to strike out the words or as an open source project. All, uh, is there, do we need to debate this? I don't think so. Is there anyone who wants to debate it? Thank you. On the motion to strike out or as an open source project, all those in favor of striking those words, raise your hands. Hands down. Those opposed? In the opinion of the chair, the affirmative has it. Uh, the affirmative has it and or as an open source project. The first clause and thus the entire resolution now ends with the words upon request. So, I think it was actually nominally a speech for was in the last one was, so I think we actually pick up with that point because, we, it was, because emotions are antithetical to the state. So we now, I'm gonna, I'll recognize you as a speech in favor of the amended resolution. With all due respect, to, uh, Andrew Adams still, uh, with all due respect to, to Mr. Oak's concerns about this, I do not believe that making the uh, source code of the software we use available to any member poses any professional risk to those who have developed the software, unless they were being, and I stress I do not suggest that he is, unless they were being incompetent in doing so in the first place. It is it, making available to our members that is the point of this motion, and particularly now as amended, that is the, that is the crux of this. A speech against? Uh, Mr. Harris. See, I'm trying to get both wings. I apologize. Thank you. Colin Harris. Even with the, um, even with the fact that we've moderated the motion somewhat with amendments, I'm still strongly against it. So I'm still strongly against it. Not least because the definition of the software in scope which is anything needed to support the Constitution, implicitly also includes all of our membership administration software and the way we do memberships online and many other things that are typically redeveloped every year. As someone who's worked in IT for 30 years and who also has worked with the Hugo software and the science selection systems, there's lots of people who've been involved who've put goodwill in who might think twice if they had to um, expose that software. Members are going to have to take their conversations out of the room if they're speaking on radios or microphones. We are very close to time. So um, basically, I just think this isn't a good idea. My experience is that people who've come forward offering to help, that help has been accepted. Uh, but I don't think we want to be enshrining this as a resolution. The chair observes that we have reached the end of our time available here. Is there any objection to ending the debate and bringing this motion to a vote? Yes, there is. Uh, is there a motion to close debate? Yes. All right. How many? Uh, hearing many. How many people still wish to debate this motion? A show of hands, please. Hands down. All those in favor of ending the debate and bringing the motion to a vote, raise your hands. Hands down. Those opposed. Hands down. There being more than two thirds in the affirmative, the debate is closed. The motion is on the amended open source software, which consists of the printed words all the way up to the words. To, available to any member upon request, and that is all. All those in favor of this resolution, raise your hands. Hands down, those opposed. Hands down, the opinion of the chair, the negative has it. How many people want a division? Raise your hands. The chair believes that is less than 20% of the House, and the chair's ruling is that the negative has it, the resolution fails. It is now 1245. And we can no longer continue at this point. I want to get you to the uh, point out here. This leaves us undone, and we will try and pick them up tomorrow. 
items A2, 3, and 4, the pending constitutional amendments, and then into the new constitutional amendments, of which two-year eligibility is the only one that was killed. The chair, no, tomorrow's meeting starts with site selection business, of which we will have, and question time for the seated world cons. The chair would encourage seated world cons and their question time and the bidders for 2018 to keep it short. We only have about two hours and a little bit of extra time tomorrow because we'd like to get the world con chairs photo session, which takes some time as well. And anything we don't get done, we have to start at the beginning of Sunday's meeting. We can do the photos on Sunday. Okay. All right, at uh, 1247, the meeting, the first main business meeting is adjourned. <laughs>